Hi guys, today I'll teach you some essential expressions, the meanings and examples, so you can use them in daily conversations. These expressions are from the next part of the episode 1, 100 the Humans from Netflix that I covered last week. Let's get started. They are going to meet very single and very available men and women. We use available almost every day. It means able to be used. For example, in my class, I say to my students, refreshments will be available from 10 a.m. That means you can have some drinks and snacks from 10 a.m. later in this class. Available can also mean free to do something. For example, I ask to my colleague, hey, can you join me in the business meeting tomorrow? And he says, yes, I am available for the meeting. You are not permitted to ask them any questions. Permitted can be replaced with allowed in this sentence. So you can say, you are not allowed to ask them any questions. Please note, not allowed is a more informal way of saying not permitted. Just fill out your survey. Fill out means to add the information to complete documents, forms, applications, etc. For example, when you go to a um, hospital for the first time, the receptionist will normally ask you, please fill out this form and submit it to me because they need your basic information, medical history, insurance information, etc. The other half will meet the same actors in street clothes. Street clothes is the clothes suitable for everyday wear, just like this, in public. So in this part of the episode, you will also hear regular clothes, plain clothes, as the same meaning with this street clothes. The humans will rate these strangers on looks on a scale of 1 through 10. Rate is to place someone or something in a position on a scale. For example, um, the difficulty of each test is rated on a scale of 1 to 5. Or, customers rate the quality of a service from 1 to 5 stars. I have been with the LAPD for 5 years. We use this very often when we introduce ourselves. In this part of the episode, you will also learn some other expressions that you can use in self-introduction. For example, I've been working for the LAPD for 15 years. Or, I've been an airline pilot for 5 years. Or, simply you can say, I work for a major fast food chain. In my spare time, I like to play guitar. In my spare time means free time. So, in this part of the episode, you can also hear, on the weekends, or in my downtime, has the same meaning with this in my spare time. I like to play guitar. I like to do something. This is frequently used when we say about hobbies. So in this part of the episode, you can also hear, I like to go to the park. I like to go skiing. I like to hang out at the beach, etc. What do you like to do in your spare time? For me, I like to watch movies. It depends on the uniform. Depends on means to be decided or determined by something. For example, it all depends on you. Depends on can also mean to need something or someone for support. For example, the family depends on his income to pay the bills. I did find the charm in person B. You can use this do plus verb form to add emphasis to an affirmative sentence. For example, he thinks I don't love him, but I do love him. Please note, the emphatic do is almost always stressed. She seems to have the right balance of personality and looks. We use this, the right balance of A and B, very often. For example, I want to lose my fat, but I have no idea how much weight training and cardio I must do. So I ask to my trainer, what's the right balance of 
cardio and weights to lose my fat. What's up? I guess you already know what this means. This is an informal greeting similar to hello or how are you? You can respond like this. Nothing, not much, or all right. Or this can be an inquiry about your current or recent state of affairs. For example, you seem sad. What's up? In this case, he is asking, what's the matter? Or what's the problem? To make sure the test isn't skewed. Skewed means not true or accurate. For example, the media's coverage of the election has been skewed from the beginning. Or it means not straight. For example, don't you think this table is a bit skewed? That was a flitting moment. Flitting means lasting for a very, very short time. So the synonyms are brief, flash, passing, etc. For example, oh, that was my flitting moment of happiness. I guess the fact that my dad left my mom for the milkman had nothing to do with this outfit. Have nothing to do with something, meaning have no connection with. Be irrelevant to or be unrelated to. For example, this argument has nothing to do with me. Men are attracted to anything as long as it moves. As long as is similar to if. For example, we'll go there as long as the weather is good. Or it can also mean over the same length as or during the time that. For example, you can stay here as long as you want. Women thought they were way better looking in uniform than out of a uniform. Way better is similar to much better, a lot better, or far better. You can use this way. For example, this is way better than that. Please note, much better is grammatically correct and more formal than way better. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, make sure to click on the button, like, and subscribe. And hit the bell so you can be notified when I post my next video. Thank you very much again. See you next time.